Joe Bomb 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 Back, back, back with a vengeance. KG's back with an entrance. Big up to those in attendance. Ooh, look at that. Reds come together like Tetris. No rules, this one's reckless. KG, this one's crazy. You're too reckless. Bro, none can compare with the KG done. Better take cover when he drops that. Bon, bon, Going on bon. reckless, trust it's on. It's that time when he drops that. Bon, bon. I said drop a bomb, Dad. Yo, 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 good morning, good morning, what's going on, welcome, oh man, Bomb is not even there fam, let's play that again, I, I was running out of the gym today man, I, I was pointing, I play in still, I was, I was, I was grinding, I know that, like, yo, on the play in, but listen, I'm mash up, um, yeah, I gave my all fam, I gave my all today, had to go, had to go hard, um, <laughs> Hey, just pause the first couple minutes of this show, fam. Um, no, nah, but I'm I'm interested, man. There's a lot going on out, a lot I want to talk about, and I need you lot to update me because I don't understand what's going on. Rasmus interview with Man United fan channel United Stand is a spark it sparked extraordinary backlash, leading to death threats and police investigation. What the hell happened in the interview, fam? I haven't seen it. Um what Police were called out Tuesday and security's been stepped up. Chris Wheeler. What the f I even know Chris. What the hell's going on? I, like, honestly, yeah. I don't understand. That's the truth. I really don't understand what's going on on that one. Um, feels a bit like what was said. Like, ain't it just a normal, like, because a club would make sure that if you do an interview the player, the club's going to watch it first. So I don't know what's going on. It'll be good for um, little insider information and that. You lot, you, the YouTube, hey, listen, YouTube fans, they know what's going on. But um, was it even that deep? Like, was it like, isn't it just like how when we interview all the other players? Or was it like a special, special sit down? Love to know what's going on, but yeah, man. You don't want anyone getting hurt and that. So that was a bit mad. I, I couldn't believe it. I said trending. What the? Yeah. That, that's interesting. Wait. But the difference, though, what was said? You're rubbish. Yeah, that's mad, you know. Was it like a hit piece or something? Anyway, um... That's a bit mad. I think, yeah, fans are a bit like, it's mad though, isn't it? Like, do your job, do his job. It was a special sit down. But was it like, wait, hold on. It's not an interview, it's the interviewer. They don't, oh, so they're just mad. Goldbridge and Rasmus thinks Mark's justification in the interview might have been a bit much. It's not the interview, it's the response from the papers. Uh, oh, they're just going after him. Uh, okay, cool. People. Because I thought it was a, I haven't seen the interview yet, yeah. But I just thought, player, sit down. The club will watch it as well. Like even the one we did with Anthony when we had like the um when we did have like the oh man the translator, yeah. Club watched that bare times. <laughs> They're like, yep, yeah. nope, take that out. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Because they, they have to make sure these are these are big assets. These are these players, like while like it's FFP even in the interview, fam. They're like, wait a minute, we are not gonna damage the asset. Yes, we're letting fan channels in and that and giving them a chance and this, that, and the other, but we're not getting crazy now. <laughs> you know what I mean? So there's a big responsibility, but yeah. Maybe I'm going to go watch it, but maybe... So you're telling me that this... The, I'm going to hear from you guys. Someone in the calling will um, keep us up to date, keep us abreast with what's going on in the news. But yeah, um, I literally, I saw that this morning. I was like, that makes no sense to me. Anyway, on other news, man, Anthony um, Anthony Lone, 
to get him going again. Flamingo. I don't even know if he's allowed to go back to Brazil like that, but well, he went back to Brazil to handle the case. I think this is a good thing. I honestly think um, it's a really good thing that... Um... <laughs> Wait, it's funny how talking about damaging... It's funny how you're talking about damaging the asset. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm surprised Manny that approved that shocking spin for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They loved it, actually. They loved it still. Um, ah, Rob, piss off. <laughs> I hope you don't get a wicked... I hope you don't get the best draw ever. Yeah, big up all the... What do you call it? Big up all the reckless ops inside. Um, We see you. Big up all the ops and away. Big up all the reckless delegation as well. Even if you're up or just a standard strong, yeah, loyal delegate fam. Um, yeah. Wait, hold on. Let's stay. Let's stay with the program. I almost, I almost lost my flow. Yeah. So on the Anthony thing, I think a move back home, yeah, will be good for him. I think honestly, like the Brazilian thing. You know, when you move to a new club, not trying to give him like a a um. Not trying to give him a, what's the word? Not trying to let it go and say, oh, everything's cool or nothing. But a lot happened in this season. I think maybe, because who's going to buy him right now? Is there is anyone going to say, hey, guess what? We'll pay something million. We'll pay 45 million. We'll pay, how much are we going to sell him for? I, I think a loan would be good. <laughs> Joseph Joestar. Police waiting for the Brazil return. No, they're not waiting for the Brazil return. Anthony needs to pull a Onana and remember that he's Brazil. Yeah, man. The guy had some, the guy had some skill and some talent. Like, KD, this is your guy. You didn't uh you did the Anthony spin and you're not backing him um to come good. That's reckless. Well, I am trying to hold on. That's why he's still in the intro. I'm trying to like, bro, how does someone fall like this low? Like, <laughs> nah, my spin was better than Don, Ro Don Robbie's darts. Don't try it, bro. Um, yeah, man, get the likes up, people. Um, listen, the one thing that I knew that I was mad about, yeah, the, the one thing, if it's a charge, yeah, when we signed Anthony, I thought was getting our, like, our own version of, like, uh, Martinelli fam. <laughs> you said what? <laughs> I did. Brazilian? Are you telling me the truth? I thought we was getting that, bro. We got... There was no Martin, bro. No Nelly, fam. Just... <laughs> just Brazil. Bro. Um, I don't try. I it, I done my own intro, you snake. I was the one that edited that, fam. Um, I know I have to get rid of him, but it would just look nasty. You know, if he does turn... If he does um, pull up again and comes back, makes himself good again, it's, it's going to be mad if I try to reintegrate him into the intro. So I'm just like, you know what? Hold out. It's like when you buy a Bitcoin and the, and the value's low. There's no point selling it, in it? Just wait for you wait for something to happen. You know, hold the line, as they say, in financial world. But yeah, Nelly, Nelly Furtado, more like with the dancing. Okay, I don't even know what it's about. Um, sent a new sound. Thank you very much. I'll go and get that one. Um, <laughs> what else am I on today? PSG, PSG is saying, listen, they want Osman. They're not interested. Um, right now, Rashi's not their number one target. Apparently, it's um Victor. And you know what? Like, probably, you know, like Napoli will get rid in it. Napoli, like out of um out right now. Again, it's a it's a it's a very valuable commodity. And it's time probably to, to cash in, you know? So, again, how many teams will offer Rashford that kind of money? I don't want him to go to another Premier League rival. Absolutely not. I'm not willing. I know some people are willing to do mad things at this club, but selling Rashford to a Premier League rival, no. Will I sell him to Chelsea? Hmm. Actually, Rashford at Chelsea wouldn't put. Bo 
Rashford at Chelsea. How will I feel about that? I'm trying to picture the celebration against us. Chelsea, does that hurt? Not really. Rashford to Chelsea, I think I can manage that. Hell no. Don't even... Rashford to Arsenal? No way. <laughs> no chance. We it could never go to Liverpool. Russia to Man City is a violation. You know, Pep will get the most out of him. <laughs> Pep would get the most out of him. Somehow. You see how Pep got the most out of what you call it? Um, out of Sterling. And Sterling don't even look the same anymore. Pep? Rashi? Nah. No way. Um, <laughs> I couldn't manage Rashid in an Arsenal shirt. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no way. That's mad. Oh. I wouldn't even take 100 million from, from Arsenal. Sorry, I couldn't. Do you know how long it took me to forgive Welbeck? Even now, sometimes I look at Welbeck and the Arsenal fans, yeah, will welcome Rashid into their bro, that welcome him into their hearts, bro. Uh, nah, 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 absolutely not. No, no, <laughs> and he succeeds. Nah. Even, you know, um, that big Warbeck celebration when he knocked us out of the FA Cup, yeah? I still think about that one sometimes. It was too big. Bro, you came for the academy, bro. You were training with, with Ronaldo and them, man. Like, you were really, there's there's videos with your little beanhead fam. And then, nah, 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 nah. No one cares where he goes. Shut up, man. Let's not do this. Let's not pretend... If you saw Rashford, yeah, scoring even how many goals? 15, 15 goals is enough. In an Arsenal shirt? Oh. <laughs> Goodness. Nah. 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 Not happening. Why should we care? We do. It, come on, guys. You understand this football thing. There's some clubs you're like, yeah, go on. Spurs, Spurs is cool. Spurs, like, yeah, Spurs don't even bother me too much. Like, there you go. Stop being emotional. <laughs> nah. Spurs is, I could manage that a little bit. Yeah, just, yeah, all the others, nah, not happening. I wouldn't mind a Newcastle. Newcastle's cool. It's the fans as well, man. Arsenal fans with little rashy shirts and that. Ah! <laughs> I'd be so mad. Have you seen that? Have you seen that clip when someone's in McDonald's and he ripped the shirt off their back, fam? I'm petty though. That's the problem. Jeez, I couldn't manage that. Um, yeah. Anyway, man. Let me just open the lines, man. Let me open the lines. Would you not do that though? Would you not be able to manage seeing rat? I couldn't do that. I couldn't manage that. Rashi in the Arsenal shirt just doesn't. Nah, nah. Even when I saw Mikel, I'm I'm petty, bro. I didn't even like seeing Mikel Sylvester. I was like, why are you there, bruv? <laughs> Mikel Sylvester? No. Sylvester. I sent him to Liverpool. Are you mad? This is what I'm saying. I think this is a bannable offense, to be honest. Personally, but we'll let us, we'll, we'll let him live. I think that's, I think that's come to the docket. <laughs> I think that's come to the docket. Personally, um, where we get <laughs> ban that man? <laughs> it's bannable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> who said we want him? I'm just saying, 
<laughs> OJ, man says send to Liverpool for 70 miles. And if Jurgen Klopp was there, you think Jurgen is not cooking with Rashi? <laughs> Come on, man. Um, we wouldn't even sell Gabriel Hines to um to Liverpool. You're talking about sending off. <laughs> Where are we gonna go? If he comes to Arsenal, he would cook. I know he would cook, bro. I can't see. I can't. Yo, Mark N. Big up, KG. What's good, my bro? Big up to the Reckless Delegation. Big up to the Reckless Delegation every single time. We're talking about... We're talk, Actually, can you help me out? The papers, what's going on? Do you Are you up to date with this whole United Stand Rasmus Hoyland interview thing? Like, what, what's... Like, just the quick version. To be fair, I just think people dislike the fact that Mark Goldbridge did the interview with him and tried to justify it in some ways. You know, there's stories about him being a Nottingham Forest fan and those things. So people don't like that. And I think that's just the issue. A lot of a lot of the players, especially with what happened to Marcus Rashford, with, with what Goldbridge and them said, he's going to be sold and stuff like that, you know? And the players don't that's like, they don't... Yeah, 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 it's basically that. Oh, so it's like nothing then? It's just like, yeah. who's up? Is it the fans or the or the um, journalist? It's a fan. It's some fans that are you know hating on Mark Goldbridge. They probably send him some threats or whatever. Mostly because you know that's what happened. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, wicked. That's all right. That clears up then. I thought there was more to the story than that. So fans are just no. upset that he had access to a player. Yeah, yeah, and the fact that the other players on the team are saying something about the fact that. Marcus, that he did the interview since, you know, Marcus Rashford said what he said about Mark Goldbridge printing wrong stories about him. Okay. All right. Wicked. All right. Cool. So I think the fans are just moving mad still. Death threat is too. Death threat is what for an interview? Move, for man. For interview, bro. <laughs> bro. These people wild in, bro. They wild in, bro. Bro, and we're going to wait three years for the new manager to have his time, bro. <laughs> I'm like, Hey, we can't even. We can't even. <laughs> I was supposed to wait three yeah. years. Ah, uh, bro. All right. But but KG KG seventy five million, bro. Are you really ne negotiating? No, no, no. Sell him instantly. Who cares where he goes? No, no matter which would club take, comes in. Would you take seventy five million from Arsenal? I take, uh, bro. I take in sixty five. Bro, listen, listen, listen. Hear the logic, bro. The guy has had nine seasons. He's we've got the Eric Ten Hag has got the best out of him of any manager before him. That we can't agree with. Look at him this season, bro. He's just yeah. not been there. You know, 27 games in, he's just not been there, bro. He had some good performances, but the majority wasn't there. So let's just get a winger who's gonna average at least 10, 15 assists, because we know that's gonna be 15 goals to whoever is up front in the striking position or some other player in the team. More goals, win games. You know what I mean? 75 million, bro. We could we could do it with that in oh, the transfer market. We need the money. FFP. I can't believe what you're saying. So you're selling Marcus Rashford for Kai Havertz money. Bro, listen, all I'm saying is this season, if anyone is willing to pay 75 M for him after that performance, bro, I'm taking the money. I'm not even negotiating. I'm snatching their hands off. That's mad. What you're saying right now is absolutely insane. Bro, they're getting a tune out of Kai Havertz. You think they're not going to get a tune out of Rashi? It will <laughs> burn you. Bro, us fans here, we just talk. We don't even know what we're saying sometimes. 65 million. 75, bro, we're talking mad. We're talking, bro, this is mad. It's not what mad, bro. It's not mad, bro. It has to be agenda. Now I'm saying it's agenda. It's got to be. It's agenda. Our hatred doesn't make us see things. We don't see the road straight. I mean, I'm just saying this, right, bro? It, if we were going to win something with Marcus Rashford, we'd have probably won it in 2020. If we And we didn't, right? Last season was the best we ever get, we got out of him since that season, right? He hasn't had a 17-goal season since four years ago. And it's only twice in eight years, bro. It's just a bit... For me, he's had enough time... We've, Nah, bro, I'm not with the guy in the chocolate factory, bro. Calm it down. The McGuinness, bro. <laughs> bro, I would never do that, bro. That's mad. That is crazy, bro. That is absolutely absurd. Give right John McGinn the number seven, bro. He's mad. He's crazy, bro. 
<laughs> Charles was moving mad yesterday, bro. Bro. All right, listen. Um, I can't believe you. Charles is clear. <laughs> bro, right, cool. like, that's madness, bro. bro. bro John I don't know. Nah, it sounded kind of McGinnish right now, bro. Hey, fact checker alert. <laughs> A man with 200 goals. I can't believe. Wait, a life sin is needed. No, he just, he didn't get extra time after that. L little yo-yo, yeah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you know, you know me Are run you... away from the police. <laughs> he got me in the pit. He got me in the pit and go on the lead. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you know you know you know the the moped was very hard for me to drive. It's been hard for me these last few days. <laughs> it's been hard for me the past few days. You know how would you know? I I'm telling you yeah that what you call it. I've been struggling. I still haven't watched it. <laughs> I still haven't watched it. That's what's so mad. Moped moped lies matter, bro. You lot take your liberties. Said I killed a moped. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you, you know what's crazy here yeah, is that's like a like that's like a vulnerable <laughs> moped said dead. <laughs> dead. I'm bare vulnerable, fam. <laughs> MLM. <Ooh. laughs> Oh man, this community's taking a little deliver <laughs> delivery KG, you know. <laughs> Ray was a good man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, someone said the love that said <laughs> you I said? can't do it. You can. can't. You can do it. You can. That is a hey, KG. Man. Ah, sharp, sharp. I'm gonna talk about big. I'm gonna talk about more serious things, man. It's my turn in it. I've been taking the liberties. Yo, Doctor NHS. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's gonna be a rough rider. Doctor NHS, man, hurry up. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Sorry about that. <laughs> how, how, you how, are you? Okay. how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm hurting, um, hurting my feelings. The chat's hurting my feelings. No, um, then I, I may, I'm, I may have to hurt your feelings a little more. Uh, you, no. should, <laughs> you should get a shirt with MLM, Moped Lives Matter. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. We need, we need parliamentary proceedings. Doctor NHS, I'm gonna bring you back. Stay focused. I will. I'm listen now. You know what? That's it. She's taking it. Yeah, two minutes. Just get up up minutes right now. Yep, go oh, on. Wow, wow. What did I do? I it was just a suggestion. Okay, fine. No, I'll go MLM back to the I'm topic I had. <laughs> I'll go back to the topic <laughs> I had. Yeah. I've so for the past two days I haven't been able to call in because I'm busy in life, but I've watched the videos and who whoever the guy was saying about McGinn better than skulls, he's mad. He has to get ten. No, 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 he's been banned. He's been streams. banned. Yeah, he's yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The potential. Yeah, he's out. No, we, he's we out. actually gave him five. We gave him five because of entertainment. Uh, the, a lot of people called for uh, ten streams, but then that, I thought yeah. that was a bit excessive. It should be really. It should be a seven stream ban because the skulls yeah, in the game. Exactly. No one's been able to he's get mad. over that. No one's been <laughs> anyway. able to get over that. Part. Yeah, go ahead. Um, Rashford has to go to a foreign club. He can't stay in England. Because I'm not going to allow him to go to any of the top six. And anything lower than that, he's better than most teams. Maybe he can go to Villa. Maybe he can go to Newcastle. But I'd much prefer him in, like, France or Spain or something like that. Because they, they're the only ones who also have the money for it. Because I, I doubt Villa is going to give, new, give us... I Newcastle as well, you know. Yeah, but I don't think they have the money for it. We'll say I don't that again. think because I said I don't think they have the money for it. Oh, Newcastle has some money to how much wait, how much was Gordon? 
have no idea. I hope someone in the chat knows that. Please. Let us know in the ch Wait, Trey Superstar's backstage. There's no way. That's not the real Trey Superstar. There's no way that's Trey. I don't believe it. There's no way. But yeah. Um, no, how much is Gordon yeah. was Gordon was um 70 million. I thought he was more than that. I thought Gordon was more. Yeah. Yeah, no, he he can't be more than that. He couldn't have been more than that, thinking about it. Because, and also, I don't think Rashford's ego will let him go to Newcastle anyway. Yeah. If it's not a top six, his ego wouldn't, he, he wouldn't. It's true. Rashford thinks he's on LeBron James energy. It's, it's true. It's true. He ain't yeah, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. He has to go to like a... Um, a PSG, a Real Madrid, a Barcelona, hell, even an Atletico or Inter, or something like that. Oh man, Troy, he left. I was trying to bring him in. <laughs> oh, wait, I was trying to bring him in. All right, listen, Doctor NHS. No problem. I have blessed, to go. Man. Just, MLM. Thank you so much. I didn't MLC look that. Look at this nonsense. I was telling you, bro. He was here for two minutes, bro. Uh, the, what kind of what kind of parliamentary proceedings is that? <laughs> Trey, we wanted to. If he pulls up again, we'll bring him in. MLM for life. <laughs> oh well. All right, listen. Cool. That's rude. <laughs> I can't ban the whole community. I try superstars back. Troy superstar. Oh my god! What's going on? I have a song. What? Hello? I can't hear you, KG. I can hear you now. Go on, talk to me. Okay, listen, one second. Okay, everybody listen to this, please, yeah? Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Troy. <laughs> hey, Trey sounds better on Super Chat. <laughs> he said that. He said he sounds. <laughs> hey, I love this. Bring back Boo in. <laughs> Imagine he's talking about standards. Can't even have good audio. Think about your life. <laughs> you are a failure. You are a failure. Try. You can never make it. Trey. <laughs> Hello, Trey. <laughs> Brother. Guys, listen, hold on. What's going What's on? There? The sound, sounds pretty bad. What's that, brother? I can't hear you, KG. Ah, uh, YouTube is gonna talk shit. <laughs> Bro, that's an internal. <laughs> Stray Superstar came to talk that we can talk, came to show chest, <laughs> gave us this. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Try. <laughs> hey, let's one last time. You lot made me move up the show. Get him to the front of the queue. Hello? Can you hear me now? Yes. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can. <laughs> Try. This Sorry. is the times now. Apologies. Sorry. It's all right, man. It happens, man. There's a sound delay. There's a sound delay. I can't help it. There's a sound delay. Get out. Get out. No, no. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> get out. That's taking a piss. Um, yeah, no. Nah. Enough's enough. All right, cool. John Morgan. <laughs> yeah, enough. There's only, there's only so much I could explain that nonsense. It was... Try just last night in Super Chats. <laughs> 
<laughs> we don't even have any. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, got 72. No, I don't think Joe Blackman and everyone's wait, but people are to the root. Everyone's been in there saying, Yo, like up the thing. What's going on, bro? Let's do better, man. Let's do, yeah, let's do on, Peter, man. We can do better, fam. Even if it's CDs and rupees and that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, there you go. It's moving up 82. Come on, man. At least minimum should be 100 likes. Anyway, um, John Morgan, you're here. People are saying mad things, you know. I think, yeah, that the, the dislike for... Well, the, can I call it an agenda? People's okay. um, feelings towards Mac Marcus Rashford are not allowing them to look at him objectively. I think there's I, a lot of emotion in the way people are trying to do business. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Big up. Tabres Abdallah. Well done, my bra. <laughs> That's the cover that did it. <laughs> anyway, so you're coming on to Marcus Rashford, right? So, <laughs> so yeah, gone for me. For me, I feel like uh, I don't want to say the agenda is warranted, but I can understand the people's feelings towards Marcus Rashford because if you take it from the very beginning. We were upset with Marcus Rashford in an initially because he wasn't doing what he needed to do on the pitch, right? And then he doubled down to make it about him in a sense of he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing, but we can't talk about it. What do you mean we can't talk about it? I think it started with the, with the, with the celebration, then it moved on into um, questioning and doubting his future, then it's having fallouts with fans, channels, then it's all of a sudden now doing an interview saying you can't question my allegiance, but if you talk about me, better. So what do you want? What what is it? So, um, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I haven't been listening. <laughs> Wait, I haven't been listening at all. <laughs> I haven't been listening at all, bro. You gotta start again. <laughs> Say, girl. <yeah. laughs> Hey, <laughs> no, you know what, bro? Big up to you, lot, though, because yeah, you don't really know me still. I've not been listening. <laughs> Wait, I need a second. I need a second. I'm gonna sit with myself. I to me, fam. Right. So, like the channel, subscribe if you're new. Um, we are every day at uh, half past ten your time, half past twelve my time. Um, and yeah, get involved. Call in. Have a good time. To have mad takes, we don't judge you, we'll just ban you. If you have a mad take, like one, one thing John McGinn over Bruno Fernandes, you'll get banned. But I come from a ban, we can all get banned. Everybody can get it. So, uh, yeah, send more super chats, send more likes, send more comments. Joe Blackman, what are you saying, Morgan? Now nah, I'm saying that everyone is good. I wear my sickness. I'm back. <laughs> I'm right. Oh, look at my hat. I'm not even playing them properly. Um, <laughs> No, nah, all right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I needed a second, fam. It was getting crazy out here, bro. <laughs> no, nah, it was out of order, bro. I couldn't even do my job, fam. <laughs> I couldn't do my job. <laughs> all right, cool. I took an emotional lap. I'm back. Um, I, I blame Yo-Yo for this, you know? I nah, actually blame nah, Yo-Yo for this. Yeah, yeah, I, I, you know what? The killer is, yeah, because of the kind of person I am, yeah, I deserve it. <laughs> I said, look what I do on the show week in week out it's my day today but anyway all right cool I'm listening to you. you're saying um go ahead yeah let me let me say it again let me say it again all right yeah so I'm saying that yeah. you you asked about an agenda um, um regarding Marcus Rashford I don't want to say the agenda is warranted mm -hmm. <laughs> you with me I do want to say that the opinions and the emotion towards Marcus Rashford kind I kind of understand where it comes from because mm -hmm. he's the one that's that that that's walking on the field. He's the one that is not doing what he's supposed to be doing. And he's not clapping back with performances. He's clapping back with opinions. 
He's clapping back with celebrations. He's clapping back with interviews. You know, he's clapping back on Twitter. You, as a footballer, you can't clap back on your Twitter. You must clap back on the field. If people doubting your ability, doubting you as a player, well, you he must did, do well, well on the he pitch. Had that light, it was a light clap back. You know that goal against Man City? That was his that was his version of like and then Belfast. He gave us a after Belfast, he came back again straight away. So I would say that again, like I just think, and I'm I'm like someone else called me out, and if they're right in it, I'm emotional. I make a lot of emotional decisions, but I think, yeah, I own my like emotionalness, like when it comes to United. I feel like some of the some of us fans are just saying sell him, but we're not even saying. To, to what value? 65 million Mark N wanted. That don't even make sense. That's madness. I know like we're not feeling him, but it's like, to what end? You're going to say, for, we want better though. You know, because do you want to be in a situation where we're going to say, we're going to bring in like an Amrabat Mountain and stuff and say, gang, guess what? We miss we miss Fred. Because that's what we went to. It's not like we have an upgrade. We, it must be an upgrade. It must be better. Yeah, but, but for me, KG... Like, the thing is, right, we don't want the good and the bad. We only want perfection. And in this world, you're never going to get perfection. So either you're going to have to suck it up, sell the player, whether yeah. it's to a rival, whether it's to your, to a, whether it's you're not getting what you want, or you're going to stick with a player and continue to have this toxic relationship with a player that's our marquee player, our main player. Marcus Dretz is our, supposed to be our best player at this club, and he's nowhere near... What, what the best players at, at clubs is nowhere near Mo Salah, he's nowhere near Kevin De Bruyne, he's nowhere near um, uh, Martin Odegaard or Saka, he's, he's nowhere near in your, and he's supposed to be our talisman. And he's not talismaning at all. So mm-hmm. for me, if you're not going to be the talisman, if you, then you must take a step back and reevaluate what who you are. Okay, if you're going to be a player that's going to only contribute when you on form, then accept the fact that you're only going to contribute on, 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 on at times and don't come out on Twitter making you all those great, great things. Giving Ronaldo energy um, interviews, giving um, celebrations that is out of this world, like, who, who are you to judge me? At the end of the day, you only have, you don't even, I don't think even, he even has 10 goals this season and, he's, and he had 30 goals last season. That is crazy. So for us as fans, we must realize, okay, there's going to be a loss. We're going to take the loss if we're going to sell him. We're going to take the loss if we're going to keep him. So take the loss, make, make a decision, and stick by it. We said we're going to give them. I come back to this. We said we're going to give the manager three years, uh, one and a half year into his reign, one and a half year, one, one hurdle. All of a sudden, get the manager out, John McGinn. No man, no man. <laughs> no one's getting over that John McGinn. See you later, bro. <laughs> hey, no one's gonna get over John McGinn, you know. <laughs> Ah, uh, listen, he's the only line I, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no one's getting over that, bro. You lot, we need to go to a parallel universe. We need to talk to seven years or more. We need to talk to, hold on, actually, I need to read some of these super chats. These super chats are just rude, though. This is the problem. <laughs> Take this two pound towards the moped repairs, mad ting. Towards the moped fund, watch your episode, man. Shake my head. I'm trying, man. It's really difficult for me, man. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it. Uh. <laughs> Not condolences. <laughs> you know, uh, bro. In your greatest moment, bro. <laughs> I had a great time in Guadalupe as well. Wicked. I was in paradise. Um, condolences to the moped. Great show on YouTube. I don't want peace. I want problems only. But I'd love to. <laughs> um, I'd love to you all. Um, best community. Absolutely. It is. Even if you're on the receiving end of a madness. <laughs> in this yo-yo as well. He's supposed to be a friend. He's an enemy. Parallel. Good Brother. morning. morning. How you doing, bro? Listen, I might. You, you know what? You're Mr. Objective. You can see things, you know, like where we're not just moving mad. You know, you like to give managers time, seven years to eight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> in this thing right now, people are saying mad things. If Rashford, if um, if Arsenal offered you seventy-five million for Rashford, would you take it? No. If Arsenal offered you 80 million, 
85 million for Rashford, would you take it? No. All right, I'm going to get to my final fee. If Arsenal offered you 100 million for Rashford, would you take it? I would only take Rashford for the fee it would take to bring in Rafael Leal. Mm. Now, do I think it could get a hundred mil could get Rafael Leal? No. So I don't think it. I'm not taking it. This is why this is why I respect this is why I respect Parallel. Parallel, can I ask you why you're not taking that Rashford money? I think we do this with all players who perform and then you know listen it happened with Pogba it happened with Ronaldo it's happening with Bruno it's happening with Rashford I think when we see a player who's performing well and then suddenly they become inconsistent and then they're performing well we start to turn on that player because we see them as the premier player of Manchester United at this point in time and I think it's a symptom of actually you know what playing for the club at the moment is not that great if you're a good player and I think we have to be honest about that, right? If you're a good player and you're at Manchester United, from all the names I've just mentioned, we've all seen they've gone through periods where it looks like, why aren't you the player we thought you were, right? And I think, and to just lamp that on, on and say, right, Rashford's the problem, I, don't th- I think it's a symptom of something that's going on at Manchester United, right? Because I spoke, I, I have a friend and I spoke to him and I said, would you take... Would you take Rashford at Arsenal? And he went, yes, absolutely, I'll take him. Mm. And other clubs seem to think that if they were to have a Rashford, he'd do well for them, right? Like, you know what I mean? They, he, and so I think we need to look at it and say, okay, cool, what? And you know, the, the Rashford thing, and do you know what I think it is? Where the hate comes from? Again, I think it's fans. Like, more often than not, if you speak to somebody who's anti-Rashford, they're a Sancho fan. Mm. Does that make sense? So it's like... They wanted Sancho on the left um, because Sancho weren't performing on the right. And then, you know, if you speak to them often, you'll find out, yeah, you know what? They were a really big fan of Sancho. And I think it's that kind of whole, you can't really unite the fan base kind of thing. Now, I'm not saying um, Rashford's performances this season has been anywhere near um, the requisite level, but he did very well for us last season. And you'd hope we had a fan base that would support him through it. I, I know it's a new era in football now, I know I'm probably getting cane for this opinion, but no, I, they're with you. They're with you right now. Oh, except right. My... I grew up in an era where we um, where we supported players through bad periods, where it was Beckham or whoever it was. Whenever there was a drought or whether they were going through a tough period, we supported them through it because we knew what they could do for us when mm. they were performing at the highest level. We're now in a new era in in in, in fan support where it's like, hang on, he's not doing what he did last season. Get rid of him, he's rubbish. And it's like, well, hang on a minute, you're throwing out the baby with the bathwater. <laughs> Let's try and see why this person is inconsistent at this club. <laughs> right? Like, you know what I mean? What's what's the issue here? And I think it's, I guess, you know, when you've watched clubs like Chelsea and Man City who just buy and replace, buy and replace, it's kind of changed the way a lot of fans view football. And I think it's hurting United more than helping because traditionally we're not that sort of club. You know what? I'm just putting a poll out to see if you should get more time. It's a simple yes or no. Um, as soon as I get like at least what 20 votes, we'll just decide, bro. So you lot hit that <laughs> real quick. Yes or no. Um, yeah, the 20 votes are in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I knew I was gonna <laughs> give me the e. Ah, oh, it was too late. I should have let it go for like longer. Wait, he bust case. I closed the poll. 54 votes came through. 53% say he should come back. It was a tight one. I'm bringing him back. <laughs> bro, just as I closed the poll, bro. Thank you for that 53%. Yes. Bro, 53% said, nah, man. Keep talking, fam. Yeah. All I right, cool. So. Um, oh, Whoopi Goldberg's in there. What do you call it? He, he was here. I, I think he I think he dipped. Um, yeah, internet is mad. All right, cool. Emotional suit. Um, Mark N is not happy about any of the things you're saying right now. <laughs> He's not happy. 
But then I think I think you do have a point here, though, in that thing of we do give up on players early. My thing is that, you know, because I've been trying to hold out for this Anthony thing, yeah, but I think I've reached the end of the road with Anthony. But then it's like, oh, KG, like, you backed him heavily when he first came in. Like, mm-hmm. am I right to give up on my stocks in Anthony? Well, I don't think it's comparable because we've seen what Rashford, like, we've seen not just one season, we've seen what Rashford can do. After, what was that season where it was him, Greenwood and Marty up front and they got like 90 goals or something like that or 60 yeah. goals. I can't remember what it was, right? But we've seen that. With Anthony, I do think some of the criticism has been unfair, but largely he's been a bit of a disappointing signing. Mm-hmm. And so I don't think we've necessarily seen something from him where we could say, all right, Elite. you know what the honest thing about Anthony is? Yeah. He really is a bench player that should have cost us about 50 million and we wouldn't, or 40 million, and we wouldn't be complaining about him. That's yeah. what the problem is. Yeah. He, the... If he was someone who was coming off the bench, I don't think we'd even think about him. But because we paid 100 million, largely because we went for two players in the same club within the same window, yeah. I think that's why he costs so much. Right. And I think, I think really it's just a fee. His ability is not doesn't warrant that. So, but I think you're well within your right if you're saying, "Listen, we've lost money on him. I want to recruit what we can and move on and get another bench player." But if you accept him for what he is, which is he's just supposed to be a bench player who comes on and helps more, us, in cup man. Games. I want in more, man. That's just such a that's such a disappointing signing, man. It's so disappointing when you're looking at what Bowen and everyone else is doing. Anthony's just. It's he's been a total that. disappointment, man. It's he's been not a, that though. He's he, a he, disappointment. He's... But he was offering more, bro. Like he, uh, like remember there was a time when Ajax didn't want to let him go. Like he right. was like that. Like he had to. But we have to, to um... stop doing that as fans. That's another thing we have to stop doing. Looking at leagues where we know Bundesliga, um, the the Dutch league. I can't pronounce the thing. The yeah. Leagues where we know yeah. quite often players don't translate well in this league. We've seen players come from that. There's a few players where you can point to from the Bundesliga where you can say, okay, cool, they came here and they did something. Yeah. We look at players who are scoring, getting God knows how many goals and assists in the Dutch league and thinking it's going to come over here and happen. Maybe Luis Suarez and a couple you might point out to. But this is what I'm saying. All right, listen, bro, parallel, i got to keep it moving. Big yeah. up, man. Solid call this morning. Level-headed parallel, fam. Again, Charles thinks he can get here. Get out. <laughs> Charles, you think I don't? It says your name in the thing, bro. Hello, uh, mate. Hello, mate. Hello. Big up to you, mate. Big, what's going on, Kennedy? You're all there. I know. I'm I know good, your man. voice. I know your voice, Ken. <laughs> I'm good, mate. How are you doing, mate? <laughs> hey, Kennedy. For someone that lives in Australia, your Australian accent is trash. <laughs> really? Really, mate? Nah, mate. Kennedy, yeah. <laughs> but someone remember, I Kennedy, I know my community, bro. Nah, are, you stick to it? are you sticking to it? <laughs> Fresh Australian, mate. Yes, yes. Good one. Fresh. <laughs> nah, Fresh Australian. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, <laughs> Wait, come on, man. KG. Anyways, KG, shout out to you, man. Big up. How you doing, man? Big up, man. How you doing, though? You're right. Um, yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm, good I'm really, really good, man. Today. What's up, Lee? Um, good, speak, good to speak to you, Mike. Um, talk to yeah. me. What's going on? Um, first of all, first of all, like, uh, I don't really understand why is this, um, why is this fan base, like, doing a lot of, like, that uh, death threats towards um, Mark Goldbridge? Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it was, it was, it, that is absolutely unnecessarily thing to do. <laughs> so, no, I, I'm glad that you lot have kept me up to date with the situation, though. It's like mm-hmm. Claire, you know, um, he's done an interview. People are upset about it. It is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. You know, end of the day, I think he's he can deal with it. I think sometimes the sections of fans that just I'm not saying I like the guy or not like that though. I'm just saying like he shouldn't get death threats though. That's a bit mad still. Yeah, yeah. it is it is crazy. Yeah. Death threats, nah, it, it is it, yeah, yeah. it is unacceptable. <laughs> it's 
Talk to me though. Um, Kennedy, talk to me about like selling Rashford and stuff. Are you accepting any money? Mm, I would like to see Rashford to Spurs if it if mm. it's not really PSG. Mm, yeah. I would like to see him like 65 million to 75 million at most, you know. You gotta think of what Daniel Levy would do to us. Yeah. Daniel Levy, you're gonna give Rashford to Daniel Levy for 65 to 75 million. Yeah, that's I hate the way we do stuff, you know. I hate the way we do stuff. It's mad. Are you are you are you are you happy about that? Mm, I wouldn't mind him to literally any clubs other than Arsenal, but if he but either way, if he goes to Spurs and PSG, take my take the money, man. Take the money, mate. <laughs> All right, take the money, mate. All right, listen, um, Kennedy, um, quickly, just um, what is going on? I'm just looking at Minna in the chat as well. After the Kane saga, <laughs> nah, man, we need big money. Bro, I think that there's an issue with Man United fans when it comes to valuations. We're rubbish at it. We, we're we just we're just as bad yet as um, Myrtle. Exactly. And yeah. We are, like, we, we're really yeah, bad. Yeah, man. Unless we're this... Bad. Unless, uh, unless this, unless this John Murtel leaves, this this club ain't gonna move forward, man. You know. Yeah, we just need to, we need to. But I think the fans need to get into their mindset. It's not a player that's dying to leave. You know, it's a player that signed a brand new contract. You lot are taking minimum peas. Like, mm. you know, there's no value. Like, I don't understand what's going on. Yeah, I know, but like, I know, man, but it's. But like, but like, either ways, I'm either ways. I'm just more looking forward to the uh, Liverpool game other than the. Um, oh, that's uh, tomorrow. Uh, that's tomorrow. We'll be talking about yeah. Liverpool tomorrow, bro. That's all right. Big up yourself. Um, we deserve better. Usually in the comment section, showing love. Welcome to the chat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we I, made it. <laughs> we made it, bro. Good to see you, man. How you doing, man? And again, thank you for all the support as well. You're always here, always showing, always sharing, always sharing support. Respect to you, fam. Listen, you know what? You you you've made my mornings massive. Come uh, on, you've brought oh such God. a smile to me. Anyway, let, let's let's get let's get right to it. It's good to see you looking so fit. You've got me dry, I, I, driven for yeah I'm, yeah. You I'm are just, looking amazing. balls. Let's go. Hold on. <laughs> We can't even say pause because you're like, I don't care. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Anyway, God, talk to me. So I'm having problems hearing you because I'm hearing myself back about 15 oh. seconds. All right, cool. Well, I'll just let you talk. Talk to me about Rashford and the value and how much you're selling for and stuff like that. I mean, this fan base is crazy, right? First and foremost, without Rashford last season, we wouldn't have finished third. We, uh, we wouldn't have got into the Carabao Cup and we wouldn't have got to the FA Cup. I mean, that guy did everything. When, in his first season, Rashford gave Ten Hag the time he needed. This season, no one has performed. Absolutely no one. Look at every single player. No one's performed. It's just been one of those seasons. You know, as a fan base, we're absolutely mad. We're thinking, right, one great season. This season hasn't worked. Let's sack the manager and let's sack off all these players that have, have done so much for us in previous seasons. I know Rashford hasn't always been on it, but think about how many different managers he's had to perform under and how many different playing styles and how many different positions they've moved him around in. And yet he's still tried to find a way. And this stuff about him coming back, chat back, I think it's the first interview I've heard him do in, in the last 12 months. What well, I would not sell that man for less than 75 million. Not by a Nelly. I'd be I'd be calling for a hundred million for that guy. I like it again. I didn't think anyone was going to come here and defend Rashford today, but you're right. I think your valuation does make sense. Minimum hundred million. 
easy, easy. And I mean, you know what? And I love Rashford. I think as a, as a human being, he's brilliant. I think what he did four years ago when he stood up to the establishment, I think is amazing. And that tells, that's the type of person I want fighting my battle for me on the pitch. Right, that that you you can't you can't put that in someone. So there's there's a principled pushback, man. Can I give you some pushback? So while there is that though, we have to be honest and talk about his tracking back and how he doesn't do that in certain games. Yeah, I understand that, but I'm not sh- entirely sure whether that's his decision or the manager's decision. Surely, if it's the manager saying, "Right, you've got a free roll," because if he was so so bad. The manager wouldn't be playing him about 95% of the games. He's dropped Anthony like that. I think Rashford probably got dropped for about two games this season. He's back in. Right? We, we, have, we have umpteen left and right wingers. He's, put, he's playing Rashford for a reason. I suspect Rashford has a free role. I think where he needs defensively to improve is just do a bit more, uh, he needs to be more aligned with, with, the, with the players on the side. He needs to be closer. But I think, I don't trust, I don't trust the fact that it's not him. I, I, I think Second, it's down, to, down to the manager. Good. We give him more time. <laughs> I'm asking if you should get more time, we deserve better. Um, let's see what the poll does. I'm gonna let that poll run for like at least a minute. I'm not. I listen. I'm not hopeful for you right now because you are defending Rashford right now. <laughs> I would just say this to the fan base: be care, be be careful what you wish for. Yes, um, and yeah, I think that's gonna probably be. Um, yeah, that's it from you, bro. The poll's not on your side. Big up, now. I keep you in the. I keep you in the background just in case. We deserve better. Seriously, thank you for supporting every single time, man. Always showing love. Um, and yeah, I've been working hard, man. I've been in the gym. I've been in the gym. Um, so it's good. Yeah, he was never gonna. Yeah, he was never. Yeah, the fans weren't trying to hear that this morning. <laughs> yeah, I just had to. I stopped the count. <laughs> I had to stop the count. Preem says he needs to talk to me. Where's Preem? Is he here? Um, NL's here as well. Sammy as well. Let me talk to Sammy. Yo, Sammy. Yo, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Yeah, how you doing, man? I'm very good, you know. Oh, that's a good one from Parallels. Well, I need to read that right now. He goes, Rashi is the AJ of football. All, um, all the tools to win. Only person that can beat him in the arena is himself. When his head's right, world class. But like AJ, after a loss, fans throw him away. Need AJ and Rashi interview. KJ friends. Oh, I would love it. <laughs> you know what? Me and me and Travis have been working hard for that AJ interview. But I think it's we have to interview AJ because you only get like one real shot at that. Yeah. It's got to be at the end of his career. It's got to be at the end of his career. That's yeah, when for sure. you get the real like unfilled AJ two hour sit down. That's what we need. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I like that though. I like that take about Rashi AJ and then the mindset and stuff. Because Rashi is talented. There is talent there, bro. Your the floor's yours anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, you see, with Rashford, yeah. The personally, I hate the thing I hate about Rashford is always too inconsistent. If you look at his if you look at his career last season, he had a good season. The previous season he had like four goals, right? The season before that he was a bit of up and down, and the only season where he scored like I think twenty three or twenty four goals in all competitions. My issue with Rashford is he's always too inconsistent, and I feel I think that's what is frustrating the the fans. Are, a lot. But Sammy, can I have some little, a light bit of pushback? Yesterday we did Red Wednesday, and a mm-hmm. lot of fans were suggesting Chiesa come to this club. This is a guy that's had inconsistency as well. So we're actually wanting to replace some players yeah. with inconsistency, with other players that struggle to score goals, struggle to be in and amongst it. So, I'll, like, yeah, that, that's the part that doesn't make sense. I'll, I'll be honest with you. You see, when it comes to, let's say, if Rashford leaves, for example, right? 
that one, let's say okay let's put it in a position where let's say if ten hag maybe get sacked and a new manager comes comes in that one we have to leave it to the manager and the the board to recruit teams that fit the system that you're trying to go with next season yeah personally i won't say let's go for like a layout because if Leo comes in and flops what are we gonna say again let's sell him and then let's say oh let's go for someone like let's say abuka osaka like mm. you, see, you see what i'm saying You'll so i'll guess. leave that to the board hey, we'll never guess we'll never get Saka, bro. i know that yeah i know that yeah but i'm giving an example but i'm saying yeah. let's leave that to the board to decide what wingers or what kind of players we're going for in the in the summer yeah mm -hmm. and also to touch on anthony as yes. much as anthony as much as anthony has been bad right like i feel like he's been thrown under the bus a bit and it's affected his confidence mm -hmm. let me tell you why because last season yeah listen i don't like anthony myself right but last season i saw glimpses of what anthony is right he's not a person who will take his defender down the line try and skill this and that he's a person who will come in try and link up with the player here and there because i saw good glimpses last season mm. yeah like the tottenham game where yeah. you played you played very well so my thing is this so let's say if we get maybe because i be personally i believe maybe we might get a new manager in the summer and let's say maybe the manager likes him yeah yeah i think maybe he might do something you know you, you know what i mean yeah 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 i think do you reckon he just needs some time to I'm just the killer is I'm hoping in the yeah. Anthony thing, yeah. It's gone yeah. to hope now. I believe yeah. that his confidence is shot. He's not yeah. even doing things that he used to do before. You know, when the ball come out of the sky and he does that yeah. little pirouette, that little flick to bring yes. it down. And stuff. Yes, and exactly. He's a confidence player yes. with no yes. confidence. Yes. He's a confidence yes. player with no confidence. Yes. And yes. that's not helping. That's why I feel like a loan will be mm -hmm. perfect for him, you know. You know, get out of you know, get out of Manchester. Yes. Enjoy some football for a while, find yeah, right. form, and then see what happens. Yeah, I, 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 as well. Alone, alone is not a bad thing. But then again, we don't know what the the new board is thinking going forward in terms of what you're trying to do next season. Because you never know. Maybe they might decide to keep him, maybe for another season, or they might decide to loan him. So we we don't know yet of what you're gonna have with Anthony. I think season. there's some truth in this thing, you know. Yeah, you see that spin ever since yes. I know at Bong Hall, everyone was on him, bro. It's exactly, like, oh, you're bro. right. He came yes. in, and it's like, How old is he? Like, it was 21 when he signed. Yes. He came, like, yes. yeah, I yes. just think, like, we just honestly, man, I think there's there's something in just taking the confidence and ruining yes. uh, when a player touches the ball and he just feels like he can't do nothing. And I think yeah. at Man United, yes, while the heat is up, yes, it just any player just it just goes wrong, like, even yes, the fact, exactly. like. You're looking at even Sancho, how long it took Sancho to get in. Sancho was not a bad player. We one no, of the no. best players. He's one of the best yesterday. Players. Did you see him yesterday? I didn't see. I saw actually. He, saw was, was, he was, was on he was on fire. It's a good goal. It's a good goal. Yeah. And you look at that and you think, well, how did it go so wrong? And there has to be a man united thing that is happening. There exactly. has to be a thing at the club exactly. where yes. it's just like, ugh, like. It just gets bad. I remember fresh brew. I can't believe we're doing this. Yeah. Even Bruno Fernandez that walked through the door. Yeah. Oh, revelation. We loved him. He, yeah. he could do no wrong. It was just beautiful. I never thought there'll be a day when Man United fans say, drop Bruno, bring in John McGinn. But we're here. Yeah, nah, that was crazy. That was no, crazy. But I'm saying, I'm saying, but we yeah. got here. We said, drop Bruno. Yeah. Makes it count. Like, I yeah. thought with what we saw from Bruno, Yes. So then you got to ask yourself, well, what happens at this club? Because, and you say ask Ten Hag. No, because I can say that with Paul Pogba. I can say that with a host of players that have come mm -hmm. here. I could say that with um, Alexis Sanchez. What did we get from Arsenal? Yeah. Something has yeah. Di Maria. Mm -hmm. How right. many there's names upon names? There's yeah. got to be something. There's got to be something going on yes. at the club. Yes. Plus the fan base mm -hmm. that is it's disconnected, yeah. it's very disconnected. That's the thing. Cause I think as fans, we are very we're all we're always all on different pages. Like you see guys who say, Oh, Ten Hagen, give him another year. No, I want him to leave. We're always on different kind of pages, you know. So mm -hmm. that's why we will always have these kind of disagreements, 
like at the moment where guys will be like no keep rashford others will say no let's sell him this and mm. that so it's always gonna be a recurring issue unless yeah. we change ourselves all right sammy this is yeah. this is really cool they, people want to know they're trying to guess if you're from kenya Yes, like, I'm from Kenya. Yes, yeah, there you go. Kenya. They need access. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big up, man. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks, man. Come on. I, you lot, and understanding dialect and just sound that's brilliant. And just accent that was that was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, shout out to you lot, man. That's brilliant. Yeah, that was impressive. Uh, we can't tell where NL is from by his big niche, <laughs> Larry Hoover. Whoa, whoa, kid, you whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, yo, what's going on? How you doing? No, no, I'm, I'm fine, KG. I'm, I'm come on, man. We're talking about we kind of stumbled upon culture at this club because not in the in like I've been on parallels, made me think some things today. I admit, of, I agree, with parallel 100%. The yeah, guy, he's making, shout, yeah, shout to him. He's making the exact, you know, he's making the right point. I think this Rashford thing is just, it's just agenda at the end of the day. I think it just is it's an agenda out there because for me, he's a lead, you know, for a play. I think it's, it's a tough. The difference is the reason why people are screaming, oh, yeah, he's still going to stay at United because look how many games he has, to, <laughs> he has played Rashford trial last season and this season alone. When your when your you know when your top players are playing too many level of games like that, you you gonna find some inconsistency. That's literally the nature of the yeah. game. That's that's why you see most of these players complain about there's too many games in football right now because they understand that. Now with Rashford, right? People say for me, the only two left you know you talk about left wingers in, in the world that bear them. That's Vinicius and Mbappe. That's mm -hmm. how I relate. I really Rashford. This whole idea, when the when United fans say, "Oh yeah, it's trash," I'm like, "Don't listen, United fans, KG. Go listen to top class players speak about this guy." Come you know on. what's funny, yeah? Do you know what's funny? I want to just um, throw this in there because let's let's have it right. Martinelli is not having the best season that he's like he's, he's not. Is anybody the speaking about it? But then it? again, because there's because there's Trussard, so there's another player to come in and carry the load when yeah, you're yeah. not firing, and at Man United. Uh, what's the the issue is what, when, when there's, there's nothing the, else there's nothing yeah, else when, when Rashford is not firing when Bruno, who's there to replace them no one and that's the issue the squad is not complete or balanced enough like I said look at look at the top class players talk, speaking about Rashford look at Kyle Walker for example <laughs> in, 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 uh, with Sky Sport and Rio uh, speaking about Rashford I said you know I raised him enough that he thinks he's the same class as Mbappe and Vinicius I don't think he's there yet because he hasn't he doesn't have the civil ways or you know of what those guys want, but the guys are top class players. I just think people are just being emotional with this whole situation about Rashford. Did you say think... top three in the in the world? No, I said yeah, top three. In what world? In left wingers in football right now. In, no, no, obviously I, I said that two. In, I said in my opinion that two left wingers that are better in Russia right now, which is Mbappe and Vinicius. I don't think Lear's better than him. I don't think Mitoma. People saying Kiesa. People haven't watched Kiesa. Kiesa after the ACL has not been the same. <laughs> if, you, if people that think they watch Kiesa, after the ACL injury that he has, he has, he has had, he hasn't been the same. So I don't know where people are getting this from. I feel like, like you're, I feel like you're getting... Feel no, like he said what? what? No, tell me what... No, no. Huh? Please, huh? Please, huh? I feel like you're getting... I feel like you're getting to a light. Uh, wait, not Charles. Let's see if this is not the real Charles. Char not the Charles that we know. Who is this? You already know who this is. Kick him out, man. Business. Move. <laughs> Move. No, How? Just... Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, wait. Just... wait. 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 Oh, no, wait. Hold on. No, I'm gonna keep you there. I'm gonna keep you there. Okay. Um. Hmm. Wait. Coffee. Talk to me. He's saying that top three in the in the world. Left wing he is smoking spice. I can't lie to you. Yeah. Rashford is is being disrespected by the fan base right now. But top three, lie. top three in the world. I probably say top five. Top three is mad, isn't it? Top five. I no, <laughs> yeah. no, let's, no, let's 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 list the wingers. Can we mention all the wingers? That okay. Let's 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 start. Let's, on, start, let's let, have let, our me, let me let me let me make it more equal. Let me make it more equal. I'm gonna bring um. Mark N in here. I feel like he's just right that he should be here. Oh yeah, Mark uh, N is Rashford Rashford Hater League. We have to get him in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's go. On, let's go. One, you look name, name some wingers that are right now are better than Rashford. 
Mbappe, Obviously, the Vinicius. first two he said. First yeah. two, Mbappe, Vinicius. Third one, you ready? Yeah. Third one. In my in my opinion, Rafael Leao is better. No, he's not. Rafael Leao. Mm -hmm. Leao went six. Oh, go on. I'll, I'll tell you why. Leao oh, went six months. Leao better. Whatever the time was without scoring a league goal in, in Italy, and no one said nothing about it. I'm not saying Leao was a quality player. Let's. I'm not saying he's not a quality player, but let's keep it real. That's some. You know, that's some agenda with because of his Rashford. This guy went no, nothing to do with the gender, amigo. Nothing to do with the gender. Bro, Rash, I that not good, bro. KG, this guy went seven, eight months without what, scoring a goal in <laughs> a league goal. Rash, yeah, like, sure. sounds like Rashford to me. I, I'm Is taking you telling me Rashford better I'm than taking son. I'm taking son. I'm taking Foden. It's not so obvious. For this, yeah, yeah, son's son's better than Rashford. Better than Rashford. I'm taking son. I'm taking Foden. Yeah. I think in Jacob Rabs, you over Rashford. Hey. The man don't get yeah. assist, bro. Jacob yeah, Ramsey. Up, bro. Listen, at the end of the day, I will win. Listen, Jacob Ramsey. Is that Mark? Is that Mark? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, Mark, end you, crackhead. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, Mark, end you, crackhead. What? He said what? He said, he said, he said, Jacob Ramsey. He said what? Bro, jump again at Jacob Ramsey. It's not. Jacob Ramsey. I've heard it all. I've heard it all. I've heard it all. We gotta put him up in charges as well, fam. What the hell? I've heard it all. Jacob Randy. Jacob Randy is crazy. Bro. They're gonna, they're gonna oh. be talking about Jacob Randy. Bro, I can't. Exactly. Oh, see, this is AJ. This is better. 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 This is all I'm saying is that dude with more consistent assists on the wing will provide more goals for your team. If you all want to attack him through your team, listen, listen. Bro, how many goals has Ramsey scored, bro? Let, let Mark Ken finish. Let him finish. Bro, let him finish. Go on, then we'll cook it. The primary function of a winger is to create and get assists, not score goals, right? If you have a winger who creates inconsistently more than 10 assists a season, then that's more important than a winger getting four assists or five assists or maybe six. You know let what I mean? Let me ask. Does Listen, Mbappe create? Does let, Mbappe let him finish. Let him finish. Bro, is, is, are you finished? Mbappe, are you finished? Bro. Mbappe is a game player. When Mbappe on the field, you know he go and he know he will score a goal. He's Mark, a are, you, are you finished? At least 45 minutes. Mark, Mark, Rashford having Mark. moment, bro. Mark. One moment. One goal and a shit game for 70 minutes. You Mark. want to see that 27 games a season? Bro? Mark, you just want to know when you're finished. Yeah, I finished, bro. <laughs> Uh, you know, Listen, Jacob, Jacob Ramsey, Ramsey is a central midfielder playing on the wing. Say, as a yeah. Yeah. The hell. Yeah. What Correct. the hell are you I'm talking about? Hey, Mark, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's tough for you, boy. Like, no. sorry, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> KG, he's done. Kick, so, him, out, so, kick him out, man. He's done. Kick him out, man. Who is this guy, bro? Oh, that's crazy. Oh, my days. What's that, brother? <laughs> What's that, brother? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I love you, love, man. <laughs> Bro, imagine he came to join the beef, fam. And then it was like, hold on. Oh. And start attacking the attacker. No, that's really a. That's really it. I've never seen that, bro. I've never seen <laughs> the attacker got attacked. What? <laughs> nah, he got away with that top three comment because after you know what though. Now when you you lost, the community is struggling to name. Now I'll say these players are better than Marcus Rashford right now. Foden's better than Marcus Rashford right now. Son has always been better than Marcus Rashford. Um, Mbappe, come on, it's clear. Um, I can't say, I'm not saying, um, thing yet, Martinelli yet. There's no way he's got to do way more in the game, way more. But is Diaz better than Marcus Rashford? Is Diaz better than Marcus Rashford? Vinicius is way better. Um, Anthony Gordon's not better than Marcus Rashford. Nah, not yet. Um, 
Rodrigo doesn't play. Rodrigo, I can't. Rodrigo, Rodrigo, I swear he's on the right. Kevin Scala, is he? I don't. Again, God is not clear of Marcus Rashford, man. Stop this nonsense. Gordon is not clear. What's he done? You look just high again. This is what we do. This is the problem with us at Man United fans. Jota, um, I like Jota, you know. I like Jota. There's not many, you know. When he starts to deep it, though, when he actually starts to deep it, there's not many. Doki's not better than Marcus Rashford. There's not. Almiron, don't take the piss. Hey, when you actually start to deep it, yeah, there's not many. Like, on a serious note, as much as we wanted to rush him, I'm, where is he? Bro? Okay, I'm like, when guys, yeah, even apologize. Foden, you said Bro, Foden, right? I think Foden is more of a mission than, than, a, you know, than a winger. The only, I think, you know, look at my statement back. I, there are only three wingers that I think they're better than Russia right now, which is Mbappe, Vini, and Son. No one else. You try and no one else. You try and say Liao, no. You just on Doku, no. Mitoma, no. <laughs> so when I say you gotta start putting respect on Rashford's name, like this guy is well respected outside of you know Manchester United. Look, go, look, True Manny was saying you know in a um in a video right you know YouTube video where he was talking about how he, they were speaking about him when he was scoring goals, doing stuff last season. <laughs> they rate him highly, <laughs> you know, in, in outside of yeah. You know, we you just know, got, I think I think we're. I feel like Rashford, Obertan knows you lot stop taking the see, liberties. See what I mean? Like, like, there's not thing, like there's when, not when you lot are saying names, when you lot are saying names, we're getting through it. And I'm like, hold on, on the left hand side, we're not. There's not a lot. Of, there's not a lot you lot are bringing to the party. Exactly because there's not a lot you're all, bringing to the party. All, they see, might they be having a little good moment, but they're not saying it's better. It's all emotion with right, you know, the way Rashford take. They're not thinking, okay, let's just take take away the emotion outside of it and let's let's just think about it. All right, so the only three wingers, in my opinion, that are better than Rashford on the, I'm talking about left wing, not you know, not right wing, not, left wingers. You mentioned Jota, Jota is more of a striker than a winger. Fold is more of a midfield than a winger, in my opinion. So it's only Mbappe, Vinicius, and Son. <laughs> I, I advise you know, Cage. I advise you, Cage. Go look at the Kyle Walker interview, for example. He's a we can agree that Kyle Walker is a top class player, a top class right back. And look how he describes you know, you know, Rashford and say you know, rates him very highly. So it's the same way when people try to describe Bruno and KDB came out and said Bruno, you know, Bruno, I think Bruno is a quality player. And people start saying, oh, it's just it's just a, it's an agenda. It's just emotional, you know, emotional stuff. All right, listen, you know what, bro? Big up, man. Solid, cool. Um, hey, right, let's not say who's Walker when we know Walker's done some like we know what Walker's achieved in this game. Give me, I haven't got your time today. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't got you see, you see, Arsenal fans today, yeah. Leave me alone today. <laughs> I haven't, I've been going through a moped crisis today. And the last thing I want to deal with, yeah, <laughs> is Arsenal fans talking to me, chatting shit. <laughs> I'm tired. Big up, yeah, I'm just and everyone in the chat, bro. Big up the computer in the, in the house as well. But I'm tired, bro. You, man, let let me rest, bro. <laughs> People are still watching. Why, hey, why am I still getting, um, why am I still getting comments on the, the watch, the hate along? I'm still to this day getting comments, bro. Allow it. The stream was days ago. <laughs> Hold that. Move. I'm not bringing anyone. I'm not bringing anyone. I have a question, maybe two. Look at his shit questions. Here we go. What? What you've uh, When you are talking about Rashford going for 100 million, does it include him feeding his teammates and uh, and club stuff? <laughs> Wait, so the 100 million he's going to feed? Is he going to feed the rest of the Arsenal? Um, will he feed Arsenal and the dog called win? I think so. A hundred million. I wouldn't sell him to Arsenal on any. I, I'm, I'm not selling him to you, bro. What's your second question? Hmm. Uh, are there any hate alongs coming up? What? Are there any hate alongs coming up? 
Yes, there will be a hate along. There'll be a there'll be a hate along for um, City versus Arsenal, where I will be supporting Arsenal in that mm. one. Mm. Okay. <laughs> and then after there's a hate along for every Champions League game that Arsenal play. Cool. We'll see. I'll be there. <laughs> Bombastic side eye. I can't. Criminal offensive side eye. Arsenal. There's one fan base, bro. If there's one fan base, there's one. All right, I'm done. That's it. That's enough. I hate you lot so much. <laughs> see, see you lot later. I'm going. Actually, I should have ended hate. Let's end right. Let's end right. All right, let's not end in hate. Come on, KG. You're better than that. You're raised better than that. How many seasons are you trying to give Rashi KG? Uh, I think I'm going to give him, if a bid comes in, not Premier League team, well, Chelsea, actually, I wouldn't mind Chelsea. Um, if a bid comes in for Rashford, 100 million, um, I'd look at it. I think Rashford could be just be having a down season and everyone fixes up maybe next year. I don't know. I <sighs> We need to add to the team, man. We need something where when Rashford's waiting, remember that time when we had Marcus Rashford and Martial playing for the left-hand side? It was amazing. J J like, I'm telling you, that was a good time because they were both hungry, both wanted to play, like, and they were both pushing each other. We need one of those situations. We need competition. All we're learning from this today is competition is key. If we have competition, we will do well. In, in a lot of positions. If Bruno had competition, it would do well. If Rasmus Hoyland had competition, we would do well. On the, um, on the right-hand side, and I'm not talking about meaty competition, I'm talking about, I could probably take your shirt. You see how Martinelli trust side is working? I like that. That's good. That makes sense. We need our version of these kind of things. We need that midfield fight, midfield battles. We need that. We can't look at the competition. It's like it's it's less than you come on and we play worse. We don't want that. We need elevation. We actually have to add to the squad. Personally, that's what I think we need. Yes, I've got for it. Are you on Greenwood? Anyway, I'm gonna leave anyway. Uh, everyone have a good day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Sorry if you didn't get on. We've been here for a while, but it's time to go. Back, back, back with a vengeance. KG's back with an entrance. Big up to those in attendance. Reds come together like Tetris. No rules, this one's reckless. KG, this one's crazy. You're too reckless. None can compare with the KG done. Better take over when he drops that. Going on reckless, trust it's on. It's that time when he drops that. I said drop a bomb, Dad.